<clears throat> hey there, Twisted Sage here. Sun is currently 8 degrees, Aquarius, Moon 22, Pisces. Divine collective emotions. Alright, man, that sun's bright. <clears throat> um, well, I think I'm going to jump right on into things of note. I'm going to go ahead and highlight uh, the current uh, passing of a famous basketball player, Kobe Bryant, who is a zero-degree Virgo, um, conjunct to Saturn and three degrees Virgo. Um, he's a Taurus moon. So nine people died in a helicopter accident uh, underneath... Uh, Right around that new moon, I don't know the I don't remember or I didn't look into the exact degree that the moon was uh, in at the moment. Um, I think important thing to note on his in his natal chart is he was born with uh, moon opposed Neptune. I'm sorry, moon opposed Uranus. Um, so his Cancer, or I'm sorry, his Taurus moon opposed. Uranus and Scorpio. Uh, the reason to bring that up because we're in Aquarius season. And so the Aquarius energy squares both that uh, his Uranus and his moon. Um, he was a double Libra in the sense of Venus and Mars. Um, so, and Mars was... 15 degrees in Sag, I think it's now moved to 16, but it was conjunct his Neptune at 15 degrees um, in Sagittarius. So when we note Sagittarius, that's uh, that's going to deal with journeys. Um, I, I think there's a, when I look at the chart, I, I feel like I can see there was, a, you know, there's a big cocktail of different energies all amounting to what happened. Um, him being a Virgo, Mars, that's going to square uh, his identity. But at the same time, it trined his Mars so that it was opportunity for journeys. And then he also was a, he was a grand earth trine, so he was also a, uh, a rising Capricorn. And so Jupiter right now, it had moved past, but it was conjunct his, um, his ascendant. And then it was... Um, moving towards a Jupiter uh, opposition to his natal Jupiter. He had a, a Jupiter in Cancer. Um, so again, you look at Jupiter as being the planet of journeys. Um, but then, yeah, the, uh, you got to look at the fact that Uran uh, Uranus is in the sign of Taurus. Um, so that was bringing that suddenness, um, of surprise. It happened to be a, helip a helicopter crash. Um, other things of note in that, um, that, uh, his daughter was in the, in the crash with him and I, I was having this conversation with a couple of the friends. They're like, well, there was other people in it. And I'm like, oh, well, I didn't know what to say at that time. And then I looked up that his daughter was a Taurus. Um, so right there, you got Uranus, sudden events happening to her. And then another guy who died on the, the wreck itself, he was a, a college baseball coach. He was a Taurus as well. Um, so I don't know about the other, I'm trying to count here, basic math, um, the other five to six people, uh, I guess it'd be six, the other six people, what their astrological makeup is, but, uh, I found it quite interesting that his daughter, um, you know, he had a moon conjunction with his daughter. Um, another small note, his wife also was a Taurus. 
Um, yeah. Suddenness. So yeah, you can see a system of squares, oppositions, but also the trines. Uh, just because a trine is a good element doesn't mean it doesn't, uh, you know, a trine to Saturn, that's just allow, that can be opening the door for that malefic energy to openly just play out on you. Um, yeah, kind of a sad story, but... Uh, yeah, I, want, I think that Mars conjunct his Neptune spiritual journeys. So here in reality, it, it's a unfortunate event, but their soul contracts must have uh, signed up for a greater journey. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that. We all aim to, uh, if we can, enjoy this journey. Try not get caught up in the uh, reality of just grinding for money. All right, until next moon.